Good morning. I just moved across. I meant the video coming through town, but I didn't. I was trying to beat all the school buses through there. So I just moved to our southern farms on the other side of town. I am just doing the first in, well, second in row on this side. We've got a bunch of ditches that are cut up to separate the big field for drainage. So I have just started. I am going to plant the, I guess you would call it the north side of the farm. With the, finish up the decal, 115 day. Um, and then I'm going to switch over to the 115 day seed consultant. Hopefully I can get this side, stretch it out, and get this side to work with all the decob, and then I'm going to plant the opposite side, which is a lot bigger. I think it's 160 meters through on this farm, but I want to plant the other side with the uh, see if it's all 115 day. The only thing that separates is the little black top root, and uh, see which one is the winner. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. See which one does the best. I am a firm believer in seed consultant. Of course, decob, I can't knock it, it's been good. You guys know I tell you all the time that 112 day we had last year was really good um, really really good so this year I'm planning I wanted to go with the 112 day again but I went with 115 day um, just a little bit longer season we planted it the year before and it did really well for us so I was like it did probably about the same as the 112 day did so I was like I might as well just go back with that and try it because we got enough got enough of the early corn, earlier day corn in from 104 to 109, so I figured I might as well put some longer season in, corn in. Plus, you know, the longer season, they say always does better, but anyway, everything, I had 100 which I don't think I'm going to have to use because I think once I get once I get the uh, once I get the uh, hundred and uh, 15 day in the box, it's 50 units. It should cover, I don't know, 120. I, don't, I might have to use it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how far this, this decal goes. We got 200 acres on this side of town. And then if we have any left, we will be using, we got probably. 30 some acres on that side that we might we got to clean the planter out that we might plant but we'll see I'm not sure yet we'll see I don't want to open up the whole box of seeds if I don't have to I might have to finish up with some bags but I don't know we'll see how far this carries this I did the numbers, it should carry us with the decob and the box. Most boxes are 40 units, the seat consultant boxes are 50 units. So they are a little bit more in them. But just start to go around the farm. Like I said I wanted to beat the uh, school buses today, and I did. 
primarily. I met a couple of them on this road when I got just about too far, so I did beat them, so that was nice. And uh, if anybody knows Snow Hill, that one stop lane, it will back up. But I think you got another month of school, and school will be out. So that'll be good to do away with all the traffic. So, let's see. Just moved across the road and I switched from, I ran out of the decal 115 day, so now I'm planning the seat consultant 115 day. As you can see, it's a different color. They give me pink, purple, all that nonsense. And it flows a lot better. That decal seat, every time I plan it, I have problems with it. It's more of like a ball seat, like round, versus seat consultant pioneer. Everything else is more like a flatter um, seed. And no matter what I do back there, it just, it hates flowing. I don't know why, I did it in the other planter too. So it's the seed, it's not the, definitely not the equipment. But it yields good, so you sacrifice having a little, a couple little issues with it. Um, I know my buddy, he got his planter going this year. And he plants a lot of decal and he was having issues with it flowing so I don't know why that would be but it is I despise planting it yes it yields it does yield good I've seen years it yields bad though but on a decent year if you get rain of course that's anything if you get rain it, it, it does yield good um, like I say, we used to be strictly Pioneer, but we switched to Seed Consultant. I tried a little bit one year, and just the way the plant looks, how wide the, I guess you call it the veins or the leaves of it, um, real good for collecting sunlight, yielded really high, um, side by side with the Pioneer, it just kind of blew it away, so head switch. And plus this year, Seed Consultant offered a hell of a deal on getting your seed so that's one reason why we planted 90 percent of their crop um, you know everybody talking about it being a down year maybe a drought prices are shitty um, the government's screwing farmers over so we just thought it'd be best to, to get the best deal and uh, it was actually with the company that i wanted to go with so that that worked out great but going in the ground. Got my slim my free simplot shirt on. Went to a meeting they had and they gave me a red one and a blue one. And they I must say they feel good when you're wearing them very breathable I don't know what they are but I wear them anyway so here I'll try to try to give y'all a plug nutrient don't give me no shirts if they gave me a nutrient shirt I'd wear that and I'd plug you guys too they did give me a hat but I don't wear too many hats I don't like when it's hot I don't like the pressure on my head but if they gave me some t-shirts I sure as hell represent them. Or sweatshirts in the wintertime. So that's one thing I like is free t-shirts and free sweatshirts. I wear hooded sweatshirts like crazy. I try to wear mainly deer, John Deere, because I'm a John Deere guy. But uh I gotta place another order for some John Deere sweatshirts and come out with some really cool ones. If you get them off of uh go on rockinsports.com or rockingsportinggoods.com they got all different brands uh, but you can type in deer and sometimes you'll see them on Facebook ads and you think it's kind of like a company you don't want to buy from but I actually bought one one time just to see I figured well if they're going to steal my money I try you know I lose 40 bucks for a cool sweatshirt and they mailed it to me so then I bought a whole bunch of them off of them and they're kind of getting older now. That was like two years ago. 
So now I want to get some, they come out with some really cool designs. And I mean, the sweatshirts, when they come, if you do look it up, the sweatshirts look identical to the picture. I mean, identical. They do a really good job. And I've always been happy with them. So I'm going to make another order and get me some sweatshirts. Miss Eastern Shore Farmer, she told me to place an order for last Christmas. But what you buy for all the kids and the travel that we do to Ohio and the house and food and gas, I was like, ah, I'll go without. You know, it's always the day that has to go without. But I went without, but maybe this Christmas I'll save that $250 and double up and do a $500 order. Then I'll get every sweatshirt that I want. Yeah, that's good thinking. So I see all the YouTubers are planting corn. I guess they're going. So you'll get 50,000 times the views that I will, but who gives a shit? I just do it for myself anyway. So I don't know if one lonely farmer started planting yet, but he always waits a little while. Um, but he'll probably get started here soon. It's 80, 80 some degrees. They're not calling for no rain till Sunday. So I'm going to try to knock out as many acres as I can before then. Um, we have one farm down towards the water that has a couple wet spots that get in there. And then it's a pain in the butt to plant. So I'm hoping I can get over there at least by Saturday and get that done. And uh, keep it all rolling. So, see you later. Bird poop. I really like these G5s. That's where I was, way over there. Now I got all this to do over here. We are sending it on a Thursday. Knocking out some more corn acres. And yes, you get to see a picture of me. Well, I got moved to a different farm, and honestly, I forgot about videoing. I've just been playing the way. Here, I've got all that done over there. So, sometimes you just get in the zone and you play it and you just forget about everything else and you're like, oh, I've done did half this farm and I haven't made a video about it, but really at the end of the day, it's the same thing. I'm going to show you the same thing, planter going, um, set a screw up, I stopped and fill it with fertilizer and that arm, you know, you can't see it because of the dust that connects to the planter, the snap ring come off of it and when I was filling up with fertilizer I did a walk around the planter and I saw that the snap ring was off and the pin was a little out so I had to go get the tool pick up and I had the tools and the stuff there to fix it I had the snap ring was a size smaller but it's holding so far thank the Lord I'll have to, I ordered some other ones from John Deere. They won't be until the morning. So right now, she's holding. Thank the Lord. Thinking to myself, if that thing holds that good, I'm not going to fool with it. Where the arm right there connects to the planter 
it's uh that's where it was at so if it holds that good i'm gonna leave it in there because i'll go get the john deere stuff put it in there and it'll come back out so the stuff i made for it is working so until i start seeing that little pin we go out then i'm not fooling with it Plus, it is 5 o'clock in the afternoon, so I got enough fertilizer to do this field. And then I'm going to go home, wash the sprayer, clean it out, get it ready for post-spraying the corn. Um, we have a crack on the boom. We got a weld. We'll try to reinforce it on the very end. Gonna handle that. And it'll be dark by then. So, that is my Thursday. Just doing this and hoping that arm doesn't come loose all right so I had broke the boom on the sprayer I didn't break it they just fall apart I have to say I love John Deere equipment but these booms they make are a piece of junk now granted this is a 4830 she runs a lot I would like to get an R sprayer eventually but that's down the road but still these booms right here are a joke. They're really flimsy. They break all the time. Um, they're not made out of nothing. See, we've welded here, welded there. That still broke. This right here broke, so I put a piece of metal in there because it was a gap. Welded it. Now I gotta, you gotta take all the nozzles off. You gotta take all these pieces. These things right here are pain in the ass, the holders. They're a joke. They don't protect them at all. They're, they're made out of the weakest, I think, metal that you can get, and then they charge $700,000 for a sprayer. It's stupid. Even the new R sprayers, the booms, if you see anybody's R sprayer booms after they own it, just one year, you know, they're green now. The damn booms are totally rusted all the way across. I love the R equipment. I like the cabs. I like everything about them. I got a R spreader right here. Love it to death. But the booms, John Deere's booms, are a piece of crap. I don't know if you agree with me or not. That's my opinion. They are a piece of crap. Um, I don't know how many times we've welded on this thing. It's not from being violent with it. It's just, you know, these booms, 100 foot, they swing a little bit. And they cannot take any abuse. Um, so... John Deere has got a good product, but their booms suck. Even their new sprayers. I, the new sprayers are the same, the new 600Rs or 410Rs or whatever they are. They got the same booms on them that the, the um, 4038Rs, 4045Rs have. They're just junk. I wish they would build them better. And their paint is horrible too on the booms. So I got two more nozzles to put on right here. And then I'm gonna fold her up and put her away. But I got done planting for tonight. I didn't get done, but I got done for tonight. And I figured I'd come because I'm gonna have to start spraying corn at some time. So I figured I better get this fixed. And uh, I'm no welder, my brother's the welder. So, but I managed to put a, it was about that big of a gap. Yes, I know that's hanging down, but that's just going to hang down. So, and I managed to weld around it though. Now, will it hold? I don't know, but if it don't, you know what? That strap right there has been on there for a while to hold it, like to brace it. And that damn thing works better than John Deere Booms do. So, but anyway, it is Thursday. It's probably like nine o'clock now, 8, 30, 9 o'clock. I'm going to finish putting this on, move the pickup out of the way, and I work out the pickup. Got all the tools where I know they are. And uh, I'm gonna put these two more nozzles on here and move the pickup, pull the boom out, spray out, fold it up, put it away. So I just want to show you that the work never stops, especially when you got booms, a John Deere sprayer. Now the sprayer works perfect. I mean, even though she's an older sprayer, she has held her own. Um, for all the acres that we're covering with her all these years, but man, the booms suck. The booms really suck. 
Now it does look like on our sprayers it made them a little bit thicker and they hid the they hid these right here, the nozzles a little bit better. They got a big piece of metal here. But as far as I know, the paint job doesn't hold up. Now people don't care about it, but if you're spending seven hundred thousand dollars on a sprayer, you at least want the damn paint to stay on the boom after one year. I don't know. Let me get these on here. See you later. I just moved over to another farm. Putting fertilizer on the planter. Got all that to plant. Got the finger over here. I just got filled up with seed. I was down a couple hours. Um, the seed I have in the pro box at the house is 113 day. And this farm is 115 day. So I waited for Lindy. Thank you, Lindy, seed consultants. I called her had somebody run me down 30 bags to get this done and uh, that way I can beat the rain because it is getting cloudy and they are calling for rain like the next five days or something so I'm going to try to get this planted move back across town and start planting on some of that that's the goal anyway so but then I had a row cleaner come off over there and I got it fixed and while I was in downtime I had to go get some more starter anyway so I went and got that and uh, while I was waiting and now we are back up running all my rib balls are perfectly across planters full this is full or full enough to get this done and we are rolling Friday, um, try to knock some more acres out before the rain. And this farm right here gets extremely wet. I already got the wet stuff planted, but this farm gets extremely wet. So that's one reason why I wanted to try to hurry up and knock all this out and uh, get it done before we got rain. And then I didn't want to come in here and it'd be wet or mudded up. Right now it's perfect ground planted perfect everything is perfect today so let's just keep right on rolling along um, i hope everybody has a great weekend planting 115 day seed consultant it's supposed to be really good on the other farm i had half of the road decal 115 day and on the other side it switched to 115 day seed consultant so we're going to that's the ultimate test. The only thing separates it is a little county road. So we're going to see which one prevails. We do need some rain though. It is getting dry. It's crazy how dry it's actually getting. So anyway, I hope everybody has a good weekend. We are out here planting corn before the storms come. 115 day seed consultant. Everybody try it. They got 108 day and 109 day that is really good. And I don't get paid to say that. Have a good weekend. The big girl back home got done across town last night. I got bird poop all over the window once again. Very irritating. Wheat's looking good. Corn's looking good. Things looking good. So happy Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. Looks like we might get some rain the next couple days, so we'll try to get some more corn in the ground. Oh, well, we're working on the last two fields of corn, trying to beat the rain. I don't know if you can see the windows. I'm getting a couple little drops on them. I don't think it's supposed to do anything, but I got this field last pass and then a 15 acre field, and we will be done with corn 2024. Last pass of corn 2024. Let's hope that the, we've been dumping a bag in here and there. Let's hope she holds up to this end row right here. Let's see. Please make it all the way down because I don't want to have to open up another $300 bag of corn just for this. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right here. Come on. 
All right. That's it. Corn 2024 is in the books. I'm headed down the runway up to the shop. This thing is dirty. We had a little slight drizzle. It's supposed to rain more. I'm gonna let her sit outside, get rain on, help clean her up a little bit for a washer and put her away for the year. I want to thank everybody for watching the channel during the corn plant season. Everything went pretty smooth. So now it's wash this planter, unhook it, hook up to the bean planter. So I hope you liked the video, watch, subscribe, share, and uh, see you later.